This video consists of three examples of calculations of equations of lines. A line in the plane can be determined by a number of different pieces of data. I will show you three starting points. The first is the most straightforward. If I am simply given the slope and the intercepts of a line, I can just put them in the slope intercept form. So if someone tells me that the slope is negative two fifths, that number becomes m, and that if the intercept is three, that number becomes b. So the line with slope negative two fifths and intercept b has equation y equals negative two fifths x plus three. Sometimes I am given a slope and a point. I already have the slope, in this case m equals four, so I can put that number in the slope intercept form. However, I don't have the intercept, but I have a point. I can put the coordinates of the point in for x and y in the line. In this example, both are two, so I can replace both x and y by two. Then I can solve for b. Being very particular and explicit with the algebra here, I multiply on the right to get eight, then subtract eight from both sides to get negative six equals b. Now I have the intercept, b equals negative six, so I can return to the slope intercept form. The equation of the line is y equals four x minus six. This process will always work. If I know the slope, a single point will always be enough to calculate the intercept. Finally, I can start with two points. This is probably the most common starting data for a line. What line goes through these two points? Here, I have neither the slope nor the intercept, so I have to calculate both. I start by calculating the slope. This is defined to be the difference in y coordinates divided by the difference in x coordinates, the rise over run. Here, that calculation is minus five minus one over three minus one, which is negative six over two or negative three. The slope is negative three. Then I can start the slope intercept form writing y equals negative three x plus b. Now I'm in the same situation as before in the second case. I have a slope, but I don't know the intercept b. I do the same as in the second example. I use a point, I put it in the equation, and then I solve for b. Here I have two points, but either will work. Both points will lead to the same intercept. In this example, putting three in for x and negative five in for y gives this equation. I solve it by multiplying on the right to get negative nine, then adding nine to both sides to discover that b equals four. Now I have the intercept so I can complete the slope intercept form. The equation of the line is y equals negative three x plus four. You can check if you wish that both of these points do in fact satisfy the equation of the line. Putting in either three negative five or one one will give you a valid equation. 